Well, hello there, beauties. I bet you're wondering what we're doing today, and today I'm gonna to show you guys my everyday makeup routine. I am first starting off here with the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer, mixing that with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator. Then I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Foundation, and I'm gonna be using a Real Technique sponge. Usually I use a Tarte foundation brush, but all of my brushes were at work because they were dirty and I have a wedding trial to do, so I need to clean them, that's why they're there. So I'm using this Real Technique sponge and it will do. Next, I will be going in with my new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, putting that under my eyes as usual and blending it out with the Real Techniques sponge and the tiny baby cute little beauty blender as well. Next, I will be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to put under my eyes and set my concealer with using the Beauty Blender. Again, I usually use a different brush for this, but they were dirty. So the Beauty Blender works just as well. It also gives a little bit more coverage if you like it this way. Next, we are just gonna go in with a big fluffy brush from Sigma and the Hula Bronzer, just to bronze up our cheeks. We're not really contouring. If you wanna contour, which I do some days, I just use a more dense, smaller brush to do that, or I use cream contouring. If you guys wanna see an in-depth video about how I cream contour, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that for you. Next, we'll be moving on to blush. I'm using a blush from Revive called Honey Bell and just a Revive blush brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks very generously because I am a huge blush person. Now for the stars of the show. I'm gonna be using Pearl and Champagne Pop from Becca on a large fluffy brush to be highlighting today. First, I start off with Champagne Pop on this brush. I'm going to work that on the high points of the cheek and more a little bit over my temples. And on a much smaller brush, this is actually just an eyeshadow blender brush because like I said for the 20th thousand time, my brushes were dirty, so I'm using something else. Anyway, I'm taking Pearl and putting this right on the highest, highest point of my cheeks, really concentrating it there and slightly bringing it back. And then I'm also gonna use this on the tip of my nose and on my Cupid's bow. I go very heavy handed with this because the whole point of my everyday look is just to be very, very glowy and highlighted I guess and to make sure that highlight is on fleek so next I'm going to be going to my eyes and lately I've been doing nothing on my eyes but using pearl from Becca again but I'm using the cream poured version on the inner tear duct of my eye and then I will go in with a more dense brush and go over top of that with the pressed powder to make it more intense that is truly just how I've been wearing my eyes lately I'm too lazy to do anything else and the summer's coming and everyone wants wide awake eyes and glowing skin so that's what I've been doing and I've been getting lots and lots of compliments. And for eyeliner I am just using Max Chromographic Pencil like NC15 and NW20 and I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Next, I am going to curl my eyelashes 
and go in with a few coats of Benefits Roller Lash Mascara. I just started using this mascara and I do really, really like it. I'm gonna do a few coats on the top and the bottom. I did cut the footage of me doing my bottom lashes because I'm very close to the camera and you couldn't even see what I was doing. No matter what, I cannot skip my bottom lashes, but if you guys don't like to wear mascara on your bottom lashes, feel free to skip that step. I also filled in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Definer, but again, cut that footage out because I have to get like so close and I don't really want to be that in depth. Next, I am going to go in with In Anticipation by MAC. It is a lip liner, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and fill them in completely. Over top of that, I am going to use Please Me, also by MAC. It's a matte lipstick, which is exactly the same color as In Anticipation, and very, very beautiful. You can always put a gloss over top of something like this if you don't want it to be too matte, but that's how I like it. Then I'm gonna go in with my HD powder from Makeup Forever, just to set my face, because I knew I was gonna be sweating today because it was so hot. And last but not least, I'm going to spray and set my face with Makeup Forever's Mist and Fix, and that is gonna complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and follow me on all my social media, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey beauties, I am back. Here I am. Finally, after like, I don't know, three months or so, I am back filming.